Rearing Silkworms You have already learnt that, sericulture, or culture of silkworms, is the rearing of silkworm, for the production, of raw silk. Historically, sericulture, was introduced for the first time, in China. The exact time, of discovery of silk, is perhaps, unknown, but, according, to an old Chinese legend, the Empress, Si Ling Chi, was asked, by the Emperor, Huang Ti, to find the cause, of the damaged leaves, of mulberry trees, growing, in their garden. The Empress, found white worms, eating, the mulberry leaves, and, spinning shiny cocoons, around them. Only then, she realized, why the leaves got damaged. One day, the Empress, was having tea, under the mulberry tree. Accidentally, a cocoon, dropped into her tea, and, a tangle, of delicate silk threads, separated, from the cocoon. The discovery of silk, was credited, to the Empress, Si Ling Chi, and, she was honored, with the name, the Lady, of the Silkworms. But, for hundreds of years, the Chinese people, kept the work of silkworms, a secret. Death, was the penalty, for telling out this secret. Later on, traders, and travelers, introduced silk, to other countries. The route, they, traveled, is still known as, the Silk Route. Since, silk, was a very rare, and expensive fiber, people started rearing, silk moths, to obtain silk. Now let us study, in detail, the process of rearing, silk moths. Silkworm rearing, is an extensive process, starting from, the egg stage, and, leading to, the adult stage. A female silk moth, lays, hundreds of eggs, at a time. These eggs, are stored carefully, on strips of cloth, or paper, and sold, to silkworm farmers. The farmers, keep, the eggs, under hygienic and, suitable conditions. The eggs, are warmed, to a suitable temperature, so that, the larvae, hatch, from it. The warming, of the eggs, is done, when the mulberry trees, bear, fresh leaves. The larvae, are, then, kept, in clean bamboo trays, along with, freshly chopped, mulberry leaves. The larvae, also known as, caterpillars or silkworms, eat, day and night, and, grow in size. After 25, to 30 days, the caterpillars, stop eating, and they move, to a tiny chamber of bamboo, to spin cocoons. Some racks, or, twigs, are also kept, in the trays, so that, the caterpillars, can easily spin their, cocoons, and, get attached, to, the twigs. The further development, of the caterpillar, into silk moth, takes place, inside the cocoon, 